Okay, so a little bit of a change in tack today. Let's look at just a simple bass line over an E flat seven groove. So the first thing about the line is I'm going to try and play it in different areas of the bass, but it's going to be... or here. So this idea, you can play it in two different octaves on the bass. And if you've got a five string, you could play this idea here, drop down to that low E flat there too, if you like. On a four, it's different. So on a four string, we do this. Or up here though. Now, the fill itself is kind of interesting. What it's doing is a little walk up, a little kind of boppish flavor thing. I'm going from the second up to the third or tenth, and back, and then through the flat seven into the sixth or thirteenth, right? This alone over that E flat seven gives a little kind of boppish flavor to it. But what's interesting too is I sneak in the A natural in there or the sharp eleven. Check it out. I go. So it's in there. As well. So there's a little fill I came up with on the fly just a couple of minutes ago. So now I'm thinking, okay, so if I play it here. You see what I mean? Just putting myself on the spot, can I play this consistently? It's not a click, I'm just tapping my foot, but ideally we do it with a metronome as well. Run it here, transition it an octave lower and back. Just see if you can get fluent with that. So you've got... It can be nice to mirror the fill in different octaves as well. That means that you could play basically the same thing, but the bass line now could feel like a four bar line, a longer phrase than a two bar one, because we just changed the register of that fill. <laughs> 